working on his handicap and more time doing his job, the economy will be stuck in a bunker for a long time. Joining me now is Vermont Independent Senator Bernie Sanders on the line with us tonight. Senator, good to have you with us. I apologize for our satellite technical uh, problem tonight, but you are in the remote areas working with the folks, and I appreciate you being with us tonight. Good to be with you. Do, do you think that we will do anything on jobs between now and the end of this year? Well, we've got to do it. That is the issue that everybody in America feels most strongly about. Ed, real unemployment today, if you count those people who have given up looking for work and people who are working part-time when they want to work full-time, is over 16%. You got young people out there who graduated high school two, three years ago, have never had a job, and are worried whether or not they ever will have a job. So we have a real crisis in terms of unemployment, and yet we have enormous needs in this country that have got to be addressed. So we need an aggressive jobs program to put American people back to work, and that means dealing with infrastructure and addressing the fact that our roads, our bridges, our water systems, our tunnels, our public transportation systems are in desperate need of and, work. And, uh, and, yeah. and, and, Senator, do you think, do you agree with the president that there are things that Congress can do immediately that will enhance the job market? Immediately? Well, of course there are. Okay, so, but the Republicans aren't going to work with them on this. Are no, you? they're not. I mean, you know, and, and frankly, I don't quite agree with the president's sentiment that all of us in Congress, the problem was bickering. I don't think so. Uh, I think the problem was that you have Republicans who have said from the very beginning that they want to protect the wealthiest people in this country. Millionaires and billionaires are paying another nickel in taxes. Large corporations that make billions and in some cases pay nothing in taxes. You know, and some of us want to change that. Uh, but I think really what we have to do now is make the case to the American people that you, a, a nation so divided, when you have 400 people at the top who own more wealth than the bottom half, that is an unstable situation. And if we're going to create the jobs, rebuild our infrastructure, transform our energy system, change our trade policies, Ed, and this is a huge issue, and I don't yeah. agree with the president on this one. We cannot continue these disastrous trade policies by which companies are shutting down in America, moving to China. 50,000 factories have been lost in the last 10 years. This trade policy is not working. These corporations are going to have to start investing in a country called the United States of America rather than China and every other country around the world. Senator Bernie Sanders, thanks for joining us tonight. I appreciate it so much. Independent from Vermont. Come